top of the afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's P.M. Turner, back for another episode of Teen Talk on Classic Criterion. My good friend and fifth participant, Abby, was looking for something suspenseful, yet not without a touch of humor. And so I recommended Charade, starring Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn and directed by Stanley Donan. Charade is by number 57 in the Criterion Collection. So, as I said, Charade is a 60s psychedelic thriller starring the great Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. So for starters, what is Charade about? A lot. A lot. A lot packed into under two hours. Uh, a woman's husband is thrown off a train and killed. The woman meets a mysterious stranger, in the form of Cary Grant, who is the only one who can help her and maybe save her or from her husband's ruthless enemies who are now stalking her. Wow. <laughs> so what did you think of this movie overall? Hilarious, creepy, and disturbing. <laughs> but True enough. Overall fantastic. Cool. So it sounds like there were some mixed feelings in there. Okay. So creepiest scene? Uh, probably the funeral. That goes along with disturbing. <laughs> the funeral. I mean, you, you gotta make sure the guy's actually dead, right? Yeah, with a needle. Poke them like that. <laughs> All I can say is, I hope that when I kick the bucket, more than just my enemies show up to my funeral. I hope so, and I will be there too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, that was creepiest scene. Uh, funniest scene, or maybe your favorite scene? Well, there's a few, but the one that stands out right now the most as the shower scene with all of his clothes on. He yes. Was in his shoes and everything. Cary Grant taking a shower with his full suit on and his waterproof watch. Boy, you know, I wish my Fitbit were waterproof. <laughs> if only. <laughs> okay, so what did you think of the two lead actors overall? What did you think of their performances? Um, they were good. I mean, I loved them. Audrey Hepburn is really good at acting. Yes. <laughs> She's good at many things. She was a very talented woman. So, Cary Grant. Also one of my big personal favorites. I mean, how do you not like Cary Grant? Uh, Dad. <laughs> so, would you watch another movie with Cary Grant? Do you like his style? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah? I mean, he's pretty hard not to like. And then, of course, there was uh, an amusingly, affably sinister Walter Matthau. What do you think of him? The dude with the ugly mustache. He doesn't usually have such an awful mustache. Uh, he's a little weird. Right? <laughs> Not my personal favorite Walter Matthau performance, but it's still Walter Matthau, you know? So a lot of people refer to Charade as the Hitchcock film that Hitchcock didn't make. Because it does indeed feel very Hitchcocky in, in nature, with its suspense, its thrills, its danger, and its humor. I found maybe the, yeah, the romantic aspect a little interesting because of the huge age difference. Right, and that's actually an interesting part of the film's backstory because uh, Cary Grant was, I don't know, roughly 25 years older than Audrey Hepburn at the time of filming, and so because this was getting on toward the end of his career, he actually, when he agreed to do the film, he made the stipulation that in the story, she had to pursue him not the other way around. And props to him because he didn't want to look like a creep, right? I'm gonna start with the suspense and the twists and turns. Um, every time the scene changed, it was something totally different and... Unexpected? Y yes. <laughs> Very. Or, fair enough. <laughs> um, there was a lot of weird and crazy it was fun. Oh, really hilarious. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> wait, is this live? Yes, wait, it is. There, wait, where's the camera? Or <laughs> what? Smile and wave. Just smile and wave, my friend. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite aspects of this movie, to wrap things up, is the name changes that Cary Grant's character goes through. Because, I mean, first he's Peter Joshua, and then he's Alexander Dial, and then, of course, we have uh, Adam Canfield, and finally, uh, who is he? Brian Cruikshank. And just like that, 
actually P.M. Turner of Old Hat Cinema, and I think I would like it very much if you would please, pretty please, go find the like button and shove it through a trap door. Harsh. <laughs> Charade is a clever and comedic thriller, and the charm of its two stars gives it a lasting appeal that has allowed it to be one of the more popular classic films out there. There's really not much I have to add to that. Abby is one of the sweetest friends I have, and she is a pleasure to work with, and we had a lot of fun and laughs and bloopers during the filming of this interview. Thanks to the humble influence of yours truly, Abby has also become involved in the fine art of film reviewing. She was very much interested in it, and I encouraged her, and she now takes notes and writes review sketches in a very similar way to what I'm doing right now. I'll always say that film reviewing is indeed an art, and you can only get better at it as time goes by. In the beginning, unless you have a natural talent and way with words, you're bound to be a bit clumsy at it at the first. I know I was. And don't you dare go looking for those early reviews of mine, because they are very clumsy indeed. <laughs> this time I would like to thank Katie, Abby's sister, for being my camera operator for this interview. And Katie was the fourth participant of Teen Talk, and she was the one who discussed A Night to Remember. What's that? Katie and Abby's brother Ryan wants to be a participant on Teen Talk. No, 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 I already know an awful lot of people. And until one of them dies, I couldn't possibly meet anyone else. <laughs> yes, I'm quoting. Well, we'll just have to see what we can do about that. As always, I'm P.M. Turner, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.